Hello everybody, I'm Luke from the Movie Express podcast with a special video presentation, The Ballad of Steve, about this man, Neville Brandt, who plays in Otto Bremier's 1950 film Where the Sidewalk Ends, the henchman Steve. Here's a quote by Neville Brandt about playing villains in films. That's important to keep in mind. Steve is here in the foreground. He's the masseur character as uh, Sergeant Dixon comes in to try and shake down the bad guy Scalisi. There you see, Scalisi gives Steve the okay not to mess with Dixon for now. Dixon is trying to pin a murder on Scalisi from earlier in the film, and Scalisi isn't having much of it. That's a lie, is it? You can see a great intensity here in Brand's expression. So he's really looking out for his boss. Like Good to have in a henchman, someone who implicitly Bad. cares about you. Maybe I'd better show you my hand, Dream Boy. It's a great line, Dream Boy. And here Steve rushes to Scalisi's rescue. Tonight I'm not kidding, Scalisi. You're gonna talk. We found out Morrison had you for about twenty grand and wanted to leave. Neville Brand served in the U.S. military and actually featured in a number of training videos. And this gives him a great physicality and a good presence. You can see all that training really paid off. Quite a muscular sort of figure. And we'll get to see him uh, stretch his muscles in a moment. Outside you, Lugs, he's going to talk. And talk to me alone. Go on, I said outside. This is a great look between Scalisi and Steve. And the second OK Steve results in this slugfest kicking off. Steve has all the moves here. Despite seeming on the back foot at the start, he manages to give Dane Andrews a good run for his money in this fight. And even here has him in this stranglehold. It's only when Joe and Ernie come in now that Dane Andrews gets on the back foot. Scalisi is hurrying there to get dressed. It must have been difficult to get dressed back in the day because you had so many items of clothing, your undershirts, your suspenders, all sorts of things. People were used to wearing suits. And Steve gets a couple of revenge punches here. A good slugger, Steve. Must have picked that up in the army, I think. Nice right hook. And Andrews is out cold here. Scalisi tells his buddy Kramer to look out front, see if there's anything going on. Kramer's a little suspicious. He thinks one of these guys might be a plain clothesman sent to tail Andrews because Andrews is a bit of a loose cannon in this, this, this character, Sergeant Dixon. Gets results, but he gets a lot of complaints as well. Steve, the voice of reason there, able to talk Scalisi out of doing something rash by killing Andrews with this stool, which would be quite disgusting, really, when you think about it. Steve is in charge of the keys, really. He's the... Uh, he should be the right-hand man of this gang, not Kramer. Yeah, this is a later sequence now where Dane Andrews' character, Dixon, has gone to a stronghold in a parking garage to take on Scalisi and finish the job once and for all, but he's captured by Scalisi and his men, and they engage in some psychological torture here, mocking him and getting at him, talking about his father, who was also a back in the day, kind of a corrupt cop figure. Oh, no Here, uh, Andrews gets shot in the arm, but um, Kramer, who's the group's medic, can uh, come in and bandage him up, as we'll see now. I saw when I looked in his eyes. Kramer, get your stuff, fix him up. There we are. See way of trying to frame somebody, getting yourself knocked off. That's the kind of thing with Dane Andrews. He, in this movie, he'll go to any length to I didn't know a guy could hate cover up. Uh, the events that happened earlier on the film. It's well worth checking out, actually. The uh, whole movie's available for free on YouTube, as are a lot of classic film noir crime films of that period. So uh, definitely worth checking out, I think, because they're all pretty fun, and, and this one in particular is very good. So uh, here's a little bit of plot at the end, or at least Scalisi's doing some detective work of his own, but um, I'll try and talk over this so as not to give too much away about the story itself. This is very important here, this phone call. Don't know if that's Joe or Ernie who picked up the phone. 
see how you find But the phone call concerns you and me ought to get our important guy, the would be right hand man. There are a lot of things Steve. A smart cop could do for me. They got Steve, they beat it out. Let go of the whole works about Morris. Come on. I so there we see Steve is the linchpin of the story, the most important character. He essentially breaks the case and is responsible for Scalise being captured. And so in a way, over Dana Andrews, it's actually Neville Brand who's the most important actor in the film, in a sense, if we twist it that way. Uh, a great guy all around. I mean, Scalise put a lot of trust in him. Steve, just a, a great henchman and also a great police informant, it turns out.